Occasionally, I get these emails asking me to do fancy, over-the-top, very sophisticated kinds of things. And yes, Sam the Cooking Guy can handle that kind of stuff. But today, no, no, I'm not doing that. Today, I'm doing something I want to do. Something basic, something elementary, something I love. Today's show is all about hot dog kind of things. It's going to be delicious. I'm out of here for now. Look at that. You can make it. Who doesn't want that? Oh, <laughs> So here's our hot dog-ish lineup for today. These little guys are called little beef smokies. We're gonna cook with those. This is a basic, run-of-the-mill, ballpark kind of hot dog. We're not gonna cook with that. This is a bratwurst. We're gonna cook with that. This is a kosher dog. This is outstanding. This is what I buy for regular dogs every day of the week, and it says, no byproducts. The kosher dog, no byproducts. The everyday dog, byproducts. No byproducts, byproducts. I'm going with the no byproducts. But now, special treat today. Here, Sam the Cooking Guy's house, my favorite all time hot dog ish. Let's go. Hot dog on a stick at my house. Nice. So you remember my birthday show? I did my top 10 favorite food things. Hot dog on a stick was one of them. And now here they are. And we get to make hot dogs and lemonade and the whole thing and you get to do it with me now. Just come on in. Yeah, I'm trying not to be like too much of like a three year old at a birthday party, <laughs> but honestly, this is a very big thing for me. I love this. You gotta love them. Lowry, Angela, Julie, like just the outfits. <laughs> The outfits are the best and the hats and that they wear them and I love that and the best looking stores ever. I'm telling you and here we are and it's all in the lemonade is here but now we're going to make lemonade. Start with a pre-measured amount of ice. Okay. So that's already in there and ready to go. All right. And then what we're going to do next is start with a pre-measured amount of sugar. Perfect. It wasn't as much fun as I thought it would be. <laughs> but I'm still very excited. There's more. Oh, there is? Okay. We have our okay. secret ingredients. Yes. Do we have to cover? Yes. Okay, we'll be back in a second. <laughs> but we're, we'll never tell. So go ahead and dump that right on top. It's funny because it smells a lot like tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give our secret away. Now we're going to add our it filtered is. water. Go ahead and hit it. And then that's got a line. We're going to have to let that fill up. Get your big mitts in there. You know what they say about big hands? <laughs> big hands, big heart. That's what they say. You're gonna take a lemon yeah. and put it, you're gonna have this little end up facing up. Yeah. And then you're gonna put this hand on top of here yeah. and go ahead and go for it. Push down. And there you go. <laughs> He's a pro! You yeah. guys. All right. I did it pretty darn good. Got it? Is that right. level? Yes, perfect. That looks good. It is perfect. Now you're gonna dump that right in here. Perfect. Now we're gonna grab our stomper. That's what makes our lemonade taste delicious. We're gonna stomp the juice out of the peels. Okay, so what's the deal? The special deal is you yeah. want a one, two beat. You want me to show you first? Yeah. And then you can give it a whirl. And I'm gonna give it a little one, two, one, two, one, two. Look it in here. So this turns it all around. We're stomping all the juice out of the peels. And we're also getting the lemon oil out of the lemon rind. All right, get out. All right, you're up. <laughs> get out, I'm going here. This has been fun, but how long does this part last? Well, we have to beat it until all the juice is out of the peels. The peels have to be nice and flat. Are you kidding me? Nope. I've been working on the lemonade. They tell me you need to smile at the customers. Well done. Thank you, I'm sore. I'm upper body sore right now. Now I need to taste it and then I need to make a hot dog. Exactly. Okay, let's go. More. All right. Okay, here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Mm. 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 That hits the spot. Everyone agrees it's done? That freaking rules. All right, hot dog time. Here I go. In. Submerge. Little turn. Shoot. 
Okay, I can't see any hot dog. Up they come. Very good. I do this. I do this. <laughs> then I got it on my shoe. You forgot the little. Then I do that. And then I bring it up and I go in the oil. Go. That's my hot dog. Okay. And that's my hot dog. And that's my batter on my <laughs> shoe. These are Julie's. She made for Dwayne. Those are nice. We'll see how mine look. I'm sure yours will be just Here you go, sir. There's napkins and ketchup and mustard out there for you. Okay, here's mine. Let's see. One, two. Oh, look at, very nice. Very look at creative. that. Very creative. Very oh, creative. We like that. Oh, that one. That one's really, really good. That is perfect. Honestly, that could win an award. And that one looks like the American Bald Eagle. It really does. That's what I was going for, actually. Let's sell it on eBay. And this would be the one that I would like to try. It's going to be I, I feel, You might want to wait, Sam. I feel so. I specialize in pie. Oh, my gosh. It's going in. You guys are amateurs when it comes to this. This is what I do all day long. I eat hot food. <laughs> it's perfect. You did it, Sam. Is this a way to start hot dog day or what? Very cool. All right. We got to go inside and cook some other things, but we're coming back. I got an idea. Okay. We'll be back. Good. And don't you go away. You come back too. <laughs> Coming up next, Sam makes some little hot dogs in the kitchen. The thing you see down with these little smokies, crock pot, Barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard, seasonings, ook, little toothpicks at the, somebody's holiday table. I'm not interested in that. We're gonna take these, we're gonna match them with, with pineapple, and we're gonna put them on skewers, and they're gonna grill with teriyaki sauce. Those are gonna be good. All right, sticks. Sticks is sticks, right? Here we go. This is about as basic as it gets. I don't need all this juice, so I'm gonna ditch that. But I've got those. Just wipe my hand off, because you know me, I don't like uh, dirty, messy hands. And now we just take a stick. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna go smoky, pineapple, smoky, Pineapple, got it? Smoky pineapple, smoky pineapple. We're gonna do four things on each one. Because if you put too many on here, what happens is you have gotta put stick. It's down here and you got way down and then you'll like choke or gag or something. It'll be awful, nobody wants that. And they're cute, I'm telling you. But here's the thing. They're not particularly sophisticated. And that's what I like about it. The time to serve this is when you're making some very sophisticated thing. Like, oh, I don't know, ahi tartare. Make yourself a beautiful little ahi tartare. Recipe on the website, of course. And this. And you bust out the really fancy stuff in the beginning. And then you hit your guests with something lowbrow like these babies. We're waiting for that to heat up. We grab our basic teriyaki sauce. And if you're not keeping basic teriyaki sauce in the house, you're making a big mistake. Goes on all kinds of things. Teriyaki burger, oh yeah, that's the way to go. Pour some in here. The addition of just this, simple little nothing, makes a huge difference to what you're cooking. All right, so you grab your sticks. Now what we wanna do is we wanna brush them before we put them on. And now, the top gets a brush. That's where you're going, right there. Wow. You need to soak your sticks first, and I suppose that prevents this from happening. So let's just move these guys that aren't cooking so much in the middle. Look at, they're all going now. Uh-oh. I'm putting them on a plate.
Okay, these go over here. So with these gooey, rich little guys, fresh off the stove, they get a little extra brush, and then they get sampled, of course. And if you can get a bite of each, with each bite, you're in good shape. Smoky. Sweet from the pineapple and the teriyaki sauce. And the smoke coming from those little guys. That's why they call them little smokies. Don't make that crock pot thing. I know you like it. Don't make it anymore. I mean, you don't have to listen to me, but these are fantastic. When we come back, bratwurst. Big one. Peppers. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the bratwurst part of the show. Bratwurst. These white guys, big with pork in them. It's basically sausage. We're going to cook a couple sausages right now. And the way I like to cook them, very simple. I like to pre-boil these things first. Come on, in a little beer and pepper. I'll put the brats in, two of them. And I'll add some pepper. And they're good, five, 10 minutes, they're gonna be fine. While they're cooking, Mr. and Mrs. Green and Red Pepper are gonna be sliced and they're going, what, Mr. and Mrs. The green is obviously the Mr. There's no question there. The red, clearly the Mrs. Pepper. They'll be going in our saute pan. That arm that you see over there belongs to Jackie. Hello. Hello. It's Nicole. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> That's Rob. Hello. Rob can speak, but today he's chosen not to. You know, in the show when little pop-ups come up and you hear those little noises like this and that. <laughs> It's Rob making them with his mouth. Today, he's like the mine. Go figure. Let's cut some peppers. All right, this stuff is just going thin, thin, thin. Red time. Come on, here it is, here it is, watch. Okay, you wanna do onions with those? I guess you can do onions. Me? I get to this point and I like the peppers. I'm gonna heat the pan, I'm gonna throw a little oil in it, when that's hot enough, and go to peppers. And look at those beautiful sausages, just cooking away. This is gonna be good. All right, peppers go in. I right, say that was hot. I'll turn it down a bit. A little salt and a little pepper itself. Because I pretty much salt and pepper everything because I love it. Now we're ready to go outside. So the grill's hot. And the brats are cooked. Perfect, and on they go. We want to grill them. We want the marks. We want them beautiful. See how nice they're getting some nice color on here? Here's what I like to do. I like to take one and slice it so I open it up. Down the middle, not all the way through. Like that. Now we just want to open it up. And we're going face down. That is freaking beautiful with the sausage. Now we do the same with the other one. That's what I'm talking about. Our peppers are almost ready. We're going to add one thing. We're going to throw a bun in the oven. And then I think we're there. And it's time to eat. Come on. We're adding this. Check these guys out, look at these. Look at the color on them, the black, the burned up edges, the gorgeousness of the whole thing. That is where you're going. You're headed for this. And now we add maybe two teaspoons of the Worcester. The Worcestershire sauce. It adds a final beautifulness to the whole thing. Just for the last few seconds, that's all you need. Check that out. 
Okay, is that a 10 out of 10? Maybe it's an 11 or 12 out of 10. Flip it over, do the backside. Remember the bun in the oven thing? Well, Suzanne, the camera girl, here's your little picture. She just said, why don't you just put it on the grill? Okay, fine. I'll just put it on the grill. Here it is. It's just going on the grill. Take your bun. It goes like that. Now you take your peppers. You make a beautiful little bed like that. And then you take your brat. So now you're at the moment where you've got it together and you have to make a decision. Are you gonna put mayonnaise on? Are you going mustard? Are you gonna go, heaven forbid, ketchup? What's going on this thing? You make your own call. But the way it is right now, there's more than enough flavor. I don't think you have to add anything, but that's up to you, as I say. I only lead you down the path. I can't be there when you eat. You know what I mean? Don't go away. If you like bacon and cheese and chili, and who doesn't, you're going to dig what's coming up next. OK. So this is potentially too easy. I mean, uh, you know, there's times when I do these things and people go, dude, no, too easy to do. And I do it and everybody goes, oh, thank you for doing that because I didn't really know how to do that. So this is one of those things. I'm going to tell you right now, I love a chili dog. I love a chili dog so much that I like to have them maybe once every week and a half, maybe two weeks. But I'm not making my own chili, as you can see. So. I'm gonna take some chili and put it in here. I will add one thing. My beloved Cholula. Use whatever hot sauce you like. Now, so this will not just be about opening a can of chili, but how to cook a hot dog a, a, a different way. You see, people microwave them. I know it's hard to believe, but they do. They also just boil them, and boiling is good if you're gonna grill it afterwards. But if you don't feel like doing either of those things, and I suggest you don't just by themselves, get a nonstick pan. Let it get hot. Now let's get our hot dogs. Here we are. Ah, we'll do three. Why not? I take the hot dogs and I give them a little cut. Then the other side. Not too deep. Same thing, these guys too. And again, it always helps if you make that little whistle when you're cutting. Mm. We're trying to get some flavor out of these. And I'm telling you right now, if you're gonna take the frickin' things and put them in boiling water and just leave them there, you're gonna boil all the flavor out. If you're gonna put them in a microwave and poke holes in them, you're gonna microwave the flavor out. It needs some heat and it needs to be grilled. That's gonna be what you wanna do. How simple is that? Nothing in the pan. They're just gonna live in there, sizzle, sizzle back and forth, get them brown on all sides. Those slices are gonna open up like that sort of. It's all gonna be a good thing. Okay, so I know they're only hot dogs, but look how nice they look. And there was nothing in the pan. No grease, no oil, no butter, no margarine, no spray. Just a dry, non-stick pan. And now that those are almost ready, let's get a, a bun. Are you kidding? Oh, that's not them. Here they are. You know, they make those things called hot dog cradles. It's like bread in that shape. Don't ever, ever let me catch you with one of those. Please. Those things are ridiculous. Take your bun under the broiler. All right. Like that. Not burned up. Because now we're going to take a hot dog and it's going to go right in the middle. And now on top, some of the chili. Come on over here. Two more things. Some crumbled bacon. Can you have too much? No. 
and then don't move. Somebody's been eating the cheese. A little cheddar. And now it goes under just for a second or two. Let the cheese melt, that's all. It's a complete mess, but it's gonna be fantastic. There's hot dog in there. Look at bacon, cheese, the chili. Get it on this plate. Now I know there's people that faced with this messy, gooey thing would go knife and fork. And while I don't want to tell you what to do, I'm going to suggest that a chili cheese dog with bacon belongs in your hands, not with a knife and fork. While the knife and fork thing has absolutely no merit, waiting till it cools down, yeah, maybe that does. That thing right here, this is what hot dog day is all about. I'm gonna sit here and eat this thing. You know what? If you want any of the recipes we made in today's show, check the website, ctn.org. I'll see you next time. No, we're not using that one ever. I'm going with no byproducts. And when I answer this phone, whose phone is that? I'll start making those little smoky guys because they're going to be good. It's my middle son. Hello? Yeah. Mom's coming to get you, sweetie. Yeah. Okay, you should probably be outside ready for her, okay? Love you. Bye. He loves me too. <laughs> That's good. I like to hear that. All right. Haley's getting the hot dog on a stick batter that fell on my foot. And now Suzanne's coming to me. They need some help? <laughs> Go to Panda Express. I'm making lemonade. No, oh, God. I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Gummy. Lemonade is good. Lemonade is good. And of course, I've been on TV before too. The camera loves me. First timer. You know, the first thing I think of when I think of hot dog on a stick, hamburger on a stick. <laughs> and I also tried pickle on a stick and pizza on a stick. Oh god, it's sunk! I think it'll come up. Ooh, there it it is coming up. And now we're going hamburger. I'm telling you, that's something that I would buy. Now I can put it on a stick. Nice work. Really hot. <laughs> Hamburger on a stick. Want to be first? <laughs> Seriously? You know what? Because I had to use a frozen hamburger, yeah. it's completely raw inside. Oh, I'm glad I didn't go first. But I, it's curiously good. Oh. First bite of pickle on a stick. <coughs> I have to say, good is not necessarily a term I would have used, but it's not bad. Don't be surprised if you come to Hot Dog and we got pickle on a stick on the menu. Will it say Sam's pickle on a stick? <laughs> Let's hope not. Wait, no, that sounds weird, doesn't it? <laughs> now you're scaring me. Now I'm scaring me.